I've been sick in the hotel all day. Not how I wanted to spend my last day. I wanted to go outside and get some sun, but I think I'm really dehydrated. So that would be like one of the worst things to do. I'm gonna try to eat some food, so... Not sure I should be eating this, but... I have to say, being sick in a hotel room is like... One of the worst possible things. So, update, like, five hours later? I don't even know. Eileen came to help me pack all my stuff up, and we're going to get some stuff at the pharmacy, like saltine crackers, because I can't really eat food. My body's just telling me I can't leave the Philippines. I have to stay. So, extra white body lotion, and skin whitening cream. It's so crazy because I want to be as dark as possible and everyone here wants to be as light as possible. Got the meds, but I really want to get goibano, but I can't eat it because it's acidic. I'm really going to miss the fruit here. I really don't believe that anything that has sweat in the name is going to taste good, but it makes me feel better. Everything is so cute. I want it all. So I absolutely couldn't leave without buying Cocoa Crunch. It actually tastes really good, but I still don't like that it's called something sweat. I think you're a little better. I really may be testing my luck if I eat a piece of this. It's not fair. I want it so bad. I'm sticking to this. Pretty bad, right? Not how I wanted to spend my last night. I wanted to be eating everything. Yeah, we have to date the uh, Mary Grace, but you bail out. I can't believe I missed that. What I should be eating, what I have to eat, so not fair. <laughs> that face though. <laughs> Much better. Look at that snail. Oh my god, it's so big. Is this like a regular thing here? Mm, I don't think so. <laughs> oh wow, ew, it's eating something. At least you can eat, buddy. I'm getting super sad, but I'm also super tired, so like, I don't know how to feel. Wow, so I figured all I could eat was an apple and some saltine crackers, and we had the hotel cut them up, and look at this. They put them on ice, they're beautiful. I almost don't want to eat it. Not having my camera has really, uh, I've slacked on the videos, whoa. I still feel like death, and I'm about to check out, which makes me feel even more like death. I don't want to leave. Goodbye, Akasha. I don't want to go. Dang it, I missed, I missed my camera. And my stomach is dying. Everybody and please tell Trace I love him and Rain and Leah. I love you. Love you. Bye. Bye. Already so sad. Not looking forward to this flight home. At least on the way here, I was like super excited to see everything, and now it's like I'm excited to see everybody at home, but not excited for this flight. Oh my God, this line is no good. Oh yeah, I forgot to say landed in Taipei. I need to find water ASAP. I'm so dehydrated and I only have four US dollars. It should be enough for water. Oh, it's acting in the coolest way, Oh my god, a lot of people get died now. The amount of people coughing in this gate makes me so gross out.
is where I'm residing. I've just ended up sitting in the bathroom because I'm in a window seat and every time I get up, I have to like jump over this really elderly lady and her, I'm assuming, daughter and I feel so bad and now my throat hurts and guys, bad things come in threes. So first, I lose my wallet the third day. Then I crash my drone and then my entire last day and entire flight home, I'm like deathly ill. And it looks like this. I don't mind being alone, but when you're sick and you're alone, you get in your head so bad that at one point during the flight, I was like, I'm gonna die on this plane. I feel so bad that Kevin's picking me up because I'm gonna scare him. So I put this um like powder in here that is for like rehydration. And it tastes horrible. It's like so the only upside is that no travel day will I shouldn't say this because I'm gonna jinx it, but will ever be as rough as this, I hope. feeling like I'm dead. I, right. I took a nap and I'm a little bit better. Oh! Alright, so it's time to go through all of the stuff that I brought home for peeps and the food. Nova's really scared of a suitcase. Move it, Nova. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, ready, Dad? This is called Hopia Ube. And you know what Ube is? Happy? No. <laughs> it's purple yams. Shane! What up? What's up? Uh. Ah, Here, I was just about to open the stuff I brought. You might like some of it since I can't eat it right now. My favorite fruit there was the goyabano, but you can't bring fruit, obviously. Goyabano, they don't allow you to bring it. Yes, but I brought the juice. Is that allowed? Whatever, I did it. Buddy, you want to be in the vlog? Yeah. And then this is supposedly something they only make in the Philippines and Thailand. Super cute pin. And this is yours. I don't know why I'm talking like this. And then look, I have Shane these really cute little bear ones. And then they have some that are like mixed, so I got them for Kevin's family. Got you a mango. Aren't they cute? They Philippines. Scary. What? Let me see. Let me see. Like how, it looks like plastic. It's candy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. That's one. That does taste good. These candies are delicious. I wish I bought more. Mm. I wish I bought more too. I, I have. So fishy. Okay, this is Cocoa Crunch, and we don't have it here, and it's so good. Right. So I bought a few boxes. That's awesome. Look at that. They're like this shape, and they fit so well together. It's crazy. No one cares. <laughs> 